Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are getting ready and getting excited for ARC Music Festival that is happening this weekend. I'm gonna be going over some no before you go tips as well as what sets I will be at. For those that don't know me, my name is Aid. I'm a music festival content creator and I'm so excited to be attending the first ever ARC Music Festival this weekend in Chicago. It feels so surreal that this festival is happening and it's my first festival of the fall festival season. So I'm very excited to be going. And so, like I said, I'm just going to be going over some general no before you go tips, what sets I will be at, and also some meetup information. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment it down below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. If you do like today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. I will be vlogging the festival and will be doing a recap so definitely stay tuned for that. So some quick no before you go tips, the festival did announce that there are 900 tickets still left. I'm sure that number has gone down significantly, especially because Bonnaroo was just canceled. So a lot of people are hopping over to North Coast, hopping over to ARC because they still wanna have some Labor Day plans. And so definitely get your tickets if you have not. I'm also selling a ticket. If anyone needs one, I have an extra one. Send me a DM on Instagram or shoot me an email. Just take it off my hands, please. It's a GA ticket. I paid $2.29 for it. So shameless plug, but I still have a ticket if anyone needs one. Then the festival did announce that there will be some COVID-19 entry requirements. So just make sure you read up on that. I will link it down below. Basically, you need to either have proof of your vaccination, whether it's on your phone or printed or photocopy and things need to match between your ID and the vaccination record. And then also, if you are not vaccinated, then you need to have a negative test record within 72 hours of the festival. So if you're watching this video, you are definitely within that 72 hour window. And there are some requirements as to what test is accepted. So definitely check that out at the link below. Make sure you're good to go get tested, get your results, everything like that. So you don't have to worry the day of the festival. As for what's allowed in, it seems like things are pretty straightforward compared to other festivals. I saw the list and nothing really surprised me. So it seems pretty typical just to just double check to make sure that you are not bringing anything that is prohibited and that your bags meet the requirements. Hydration packs are allowed. If you want to bring a reusable water bottle, that's allowed. Just no glass or metal. And just be sure to double check that list so you don't have any issues with security. Since this festival is brand new, no idea how security is going to be. So we'll just kind of see how it all plays out. Getting to the venue. So I believe they posted on their website or I believe they sent it out in an email. We're staying around a theater district, I want to say. Our plan, I was able to look up and see that public transit, we could take the green line or the pink line to get to the festival. So we're going to be taking one of those probably to get to the festival and then probably going to the after parties. We might have to do ride share or something like that. I'll talk about which after parties we're going to. Um, so that's kind of our general plan. We're not necessarily in walking distance, so that's something we're keeping in mind. If you decide to use public transit, then I think you could purchase like a day pass for like $10 or a pass for the whole weekend. That was just something I was able to look up and see. So that is something that we're considering and then maybe splitting rides if we have to for an after party. Which brings me to what after parties are we attending? So I've been getting asked this a lot. We will be going to Blacklist on Saturday night. That will be Blacklist and Eli and Fur for Sunday. We were considering not doing an after party and then those set times came out and we were like, let's just get Will Clark just in case. And a lot of our friends also recommended checking out Spy Bar um, because I guess it's a really iconic venue that you have to go to when you're in Chicago. So we definitely wanted to check that out. So we have after party tickets for Sunday. We will most likely use them. <laughs> My flight's not until noon on Monday, so I'm kind of like, let's do it YOLO, but we'll see about all of that. And then also I forgot to mention Blacklist and Eli and Furt is at Radius Chicago. That's a venue that we might have to Uber there for. So that's something that we're kind of planning out because that one's a little bit further south. Whereas Spy Bar is like maybe a 10 minute walk from our hotel. So that's something that's really convenient for us. And then the final thing I want to go over is make sure you guys check out the map. The map seems pretty cool. I was really interested to see what this venue is going to look like because on a map, it looks pretty small in comparison to like Grant Park, which is where I went to Lollapalooza. Like this park seems like it covers maybe one fifth of <laughs> Grant Park. You know what I mean? So I'm super curious to see how this all looks live. Um, and they've been posting like hints and set designs and everything like that. So there's four stages. There's four stages. Technically, one of them is an art car. It's a bus. So they have the grid, which I heard was like more of like your typical kind of main stage feel. And then they have Elro, 
which is going to be an insane experience from what I've heard from Emma. She went to Elro in New York, so it's going to be very vibrant, colorful, crazy, amazing. So I'm very excited to see what Elro looks like in person. And then stage three is expansions. And I remember hearing about this on a podcast that that one's going to get very like naturey Tulum kind of vibes. So really excited to see what that looks like. And then they have the ARC car, which is powered by the good bus. So it looks like a little school bus on the map. Anytime I look at a map, you guys, I always look for the main things, you know, where's the entrances at, where's water, where's bathroom, and that's basically it. Um, so looking at this map, they do have one water station more towards the back of kind of the venue, I feel like, when you're like looking at main stage. I'll be interested to see how much water they have available and if it's going to be like pretty hectic to get water. So we'll see about that. Um, bathrooms, it seems like there's a few throughout the venue. So that's going to be really nice um, to have just like multiple places to go to. And then the final thing is, you know, thinking about sound bleeds. So I'm curious to see how they position the stages to minimize sound bleeds. Since like I said, it is a pretty small park, it seems like. So it looks like for, you know, the grid, it's going to go outward to the left. And then for Elro, it'll probably go outward towards um, Randolph Street. And then uh, with the bus, it'll probably go out to Ogden Ave. And then with expansions, that will also go out that way. But that one's probably going to go out towards the bus. So again, super curious how this is all going to work out. Um, I'm just here for the vibes, you know, we'll just see what happens, see how it goes, but really, really just excited to see how this comes to life. I'll also link down below the podcast that I was listening to that was with some of the owners and creators of Arc Music Festival. Emma Capotis, my good friend who I'm going with to Arc Music Festival, she got to interview them along with MJ. So I will link that down below. And then as for the set times, ooh. these set times hurt a little bit. Not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. These set times hurt just a little bit. <laughs> this is what happens when you go to a house and techno festival, you guys, like everyone's just going to bound to clash. You know what I mean? So I will say that there have been a couple of changes just because of artist visa requirements. I know that Adam Bear is no longer able to make it. I think Christoph was no longer able to make it. So that's something that we're going to be seeing as the whole COVID situation continues to progress you know, what artists are going to be able to make it internationally and stuff like that. So unfortunately, they weren't able to make it, which I was kind of bummed about because I've been wanting to see Adam Bear back to XRSD like so bad. Um, but it's just not going to happen. So we'll just wait on that. So for Saturday, we will probably get there at two o'clock for doors. Um, Emma and I are going to be working this event. We are working with gray area. So we're going to be helping out getting some content and everything like that. So we will probably get there at 2 PM. Um, our group's going to be me, Emma, my boyfriend, Chase, and then our friend Robin. She is cutie cacti on Instagram. So we're probably going to get there around 2 PM for DJ Pierre back to back Idris D. DJ Pierre was one of the pioneers of acid house. So that is just something that you want to see to kick off our music festival because this is in Chicago, the origins of house music. House music was created by black people. So it's just like a, such a good way to kick off the event. So definitely want to check that out. And then I would love to hop over to Rodriguez Jr. Live. His stuff is a little bit more slower, I would say, like a slower deep house. I love some of his remixes that he has. So I'm curious to see what a live set would be like from him. Mason Maynard has been on my list for a hot minute. He is a tech house artist. He has a couple of releases on Dirty Bird, Relief Records, which is Green Velvet's label. So I think definitely would love to see him. He's going to be from 4 to 5.30 at the Elro stage. So that'll be my first experience with the Elro stage. So I'm really excited just to see what production they bring and like live aspects and everything like that. And then this next time slot, we got Bob Moses Club set, Eli and Fur, and Deborah DeLuca. We will for sure be at Deborah DeLuca. I saw her at Seismic Dance Event and she just pff, blew my mind. She is just so incredible. So right off the bat, I'm already going to get a taste of what all these stages look like, which I'm really excited about. I don't know anyone on the art car stage except for Blue Nine. Sounds familiar. I have a feeling because there's going to be food trucks near that stage. So it'll always be nice. Like when you go and grab food, you can probably go check out a new artist. <laughs> I just noticed on that there's a artist called Chilaquilas and I kind of love that. <laughs> 
So then after Deborah DeLuca, we got Nicole Moda Bear, Patrick Topping, and Cerez D. This is probably a really big conflict. I feel like everyone wants to go see Patrick Topping. I've seen him before. It's going to be really cool to see him at the Elro stage, but I've never seen Cerez D or Nicole Moda Bear. So that is something where I'm like, I'll kind of go wherever. I don't, I know Eric Prids is playing at EDC. I don't know if he's doing a Cerez D set. So that's just something to think about. Like, we're going to Imagine and we're going to EDC and Seismic Dance event. We're kind of picking and choosing when to see someone. Uh, Nicole Moda Bear will be at EDC. Patrick Topping will be at Seismic Dance event. So it kind of just depends. <laughs> That'll be a game time decision. Alrighty. And then closing out on Saturday, we got Zoo from 830 to 10. Fisher at the Elro stage and then Luciano at Expansion stage. <sighs> I have a feeling I'm going to get dragged to Fisher. <laughs> um... I wanted to see Zoo because my boy, that's one of my boyfriend's favorite artists, but even he, I think, wants to see Fisher. And I know Emma wants to see Fisher from her set times video. So again, I might just go along for the vibes. I might see a little bit of both. I've seen both so many times, so I really could go either way. And who knows? Maybe I'll just say fuck it and go see Luciano just for shits and gigs. <laughs> Okay, and then for Sunday. So again, we will probably be getting there around 2 p.m. Um, I think I would want to go see that back-to-back -back at the beginning. Heroku Yamamura, back-to-back -back DJ Holographic. I saw DJ Holographic at Cross. Really incredible artist. And Heroku Yamamura is definitely more on the underground like techno scene, I feel like. She's also from Detroit. So again, we got that old classic techno and house vibes and everything, you know, hailing from Chicago and Detroit. So I think it'd be really cool to check that out. Asha has been on my list to see. So she's from three to four. So definitely will want to see a little bit of her set. And then we got Jean Ferris from four to five thirty. I would love to see Jeremy Olander, but like Jean Ferris, I've been dying to see dying to see ever since I started teaching myself how to DJ I've just been so much more appreciative especially of his music so it's on my list to see him without a doubt after that we have another big conflict this is what confirmed it for us that like okay we're probably gonna go to the Will Clark after party <laughs> we have Medusa from 5 to 6 30 at the grid we have Will Clark from 5 30 to 7 we have Channel Trace from 5 30 to 7 a DJ set so here's a dilemma uh I've seen Will Clark before but he always is so incredible like I've seen him multiple times kills it every single time that's why we might save him for the after party so now we're left with Medusa and Channel Trace we do have a little bit of time where we could like lead Jean Ferris early say and maybe go see a little bit of Medusa then go see Channel Trace Channel Trace is also supposed to be at ACL he's on at the same time as Chris Lake which is very disappointing and you guys know I'm gonna go see Chris Lake so I'm thinking about saving Medusa for EDC and go see Channel Trace just because he's a really incredible vocalist and artist and I feel like it's just going to be such a groove. So that's where we're at with that. And then we have this next one, which was just straight up rude. <laughs> Camel Fat against Lee Foss and the Martinez brothers. I'm sorry. What? So I haven't seen Camel Fat since Lollapalooza 2019. They're always just classic, amazing. They came out with an album during quarantine. So I'm like, I would love to see this album live. But then we saw Lee Foss for the first time at Seismic Dance event. And that was one of the best house sets I've ever seen. And he's also from Chicago. So I feel like he's really going to bring it. And then if you watched my Seismic Dance event vlogs from this year, you know I missed out on seeing the Martinez brothers because they canceled day two of Seismic Dance event due to some weather. They ended up playing at a venue that they packed out and we weren't able to get in. So miss the Martinez brothers. Martinez brothers also going to be at EDC. Another game time decision. We'll see what the vibes are. Also, I forgot to mention Emma Capotis and I are doing a meetup. So we will be doing a meetup at 7 p.m. And we're doing it at the beverage area near the bus. So near the art car. Um, well, I'll put up a picture here so you guys know where to find us. But we're hoping to do that at 7 p.m. So if you guys want to come say hi, we would love to meet you guys. It's our first meetup since forever. I think my last meetup was Lights All Night 2019. So very excited to see some of you guys. So definitely come out. If you can, we would love to see you. Um, so yeah, forgot to mention that. <laughs> uh, I was so taken back by this whole like camel fat, Lee Foss, Martinez brother situation. And then where am I ending the night? You know, again, this was really rude. Eric Prids against Hot Sense 82 and then Seth Troxler back to back Derek Carter. 
So I think no matter who I pick for Camel Fat, Lee Foss, and the Martinez brothers, I'm going to have to leave early to see a little bit of Eric Prids with Emma, just because you have to see Eric Prids, especially with Emma Capotis. It's just, you have to do it. Then probably we'll see just a little bit of Hot Sense 82, which pains me so much because Chase and I are obsessed with him and we have been wanting to see him. But Hot Sense 82 is also coming to Austin like two weeks later. <laughs> so I think we're going to see a little bit of his set and then see him in Austin two weeks later because Seth Troxler back to back Derek Carter also very iconic and just an amazing way to close out Arc Music Festival. Like if you care anything about this genre and you want to know about the history and just the iconic parts that make up this genre, you want to be at that back to back. You know what I mean? Same thing that I was talking about with some of these other back to backs and like DJ Heather and like all this stuff. So that's where I would personally like to end the night. And then we will go to the Will Clark after party. So that's kind of what the weekend is looking like. If you see me bopping around, it looks like a small venue. So if you see me bopping around, say hello. I would love to meet you guys. Um, and we do have that meetup on the second day at 7 p.m. at the beverage area near the art car. So definitely come and say hi. I am so, so excited for Arc Music Festival. And Emma and I get to reunite for the first time since Imagine 2019. So it's just going to be a really great all around weekend. Also, my boyfriend Chase's birthday, which I'm sure he doesn't want me to tell people, but it will be his birthday on day two on Saturday. So if you want to surprise him, tell him happy birthday. He might get freaked out, but <laughs> I'm just really excited for this weekend. I've been looking forward to it. It's my second time going to Chicago, so excited to vlog the whole experience and bring you guys along with me. Um, and I hope to see you guys there. So that is it for today's video. If you did like it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're going and what sets you're excited to see. And hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.